A long time ago, I did sport full time at an institute. You have a whole lot of people together operating at a really high level, and that often is a pressure pack. Then you're going to see some anxiety, depression, eating disorders. I couldn't help but wonder what are the key things that are involved in that. I'm afflicted by profound curiosity, so I want to know why that happens and what might happen if you do that. I just can't help it. G'day, I'm Dr. Kate Fell with the Schmidt. I'm a senior research fellow and I'm an epidemiologist. I got involved in things like twin studies, so that's looking at genetics and environment at a DNA level, and then how things at a societal level can impact those genes. One of the things that I'm involved in at the moment is managing a randomised controlled trial in people who have schizophrenia. What the trial is doing at the moment works out with them what gives them quality of life, what, what can we change to make your life better. What that can do is help us understand what it's like to, to have schizophrenia, what it's like to interact at a health system level and what we can do as a society to help people in this circumstance. You can see the translation right in front of your eyes. Potentially, the study that we do will be life-changing for all of the people involved. There is a huge opportunity for PhD students. If they have a passion for helping, if they want to look at things from different viewpoints and perspectives and provide a pathway to a better quality of life.